Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Empty Space by James Arthur. We're in standard tuning. We've got a capo on our fourth fret here. These were all bar chords. Uh, it was a G flat, a A flat, and a D flat chord. But by putting this capo here, I've transposed the song so that we have an E chord, we have an A chord, and a D chord instead of those bar chords. So if you're a beginner, you can play along nice and easy. As long as you have a capo, of course. And our strumming pattern goes like this. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. So you're going to stay on that A for two measures, then we're going to switch to our E chord. For another measure. And we start over at A. So it's A for two measures. E for two measures. I was playing sounds like this. And that's not actually a melody in a song, that's me just noodling, and it'll sound good if you play it pretty much anywhere in there. That's it. So it's pretty much the same strumming pattern throughout. You got that A chord going to your E chord, going to your D chord, and then from there you can play that other lick if you want to spice things up a little bit. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If this helped you, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. If you are interested in supporting me, I've got a blog called New Music Friday, the Sunday Review, and I highlight all the favorite music that is coming out every week on there. Um, just something I do for fun lately. And also keep up with me on Instagram at Jeremiah James Music. Thank you for watching.